Hey, I'm Steve from Scalar Music, and I'm here to talk about a major update to DC Snares. We've got a bunch of new features in this update, and many of these features were suggested to us from our users over on the Scalar Music forum. So we want to thank you for those suggestions, and we hope you love this update as much as we do. There's a lot to cover, so let's get into it. All right, the first feature I want to talk about is drag to DAW. We can now render the plugin state to audio and export that directly to our DAW, or we can drag it to an external folder. So I'll show you how that works. So firstly, I'll demonstrate the plugin state. I'm using a new preset that we have. And all I need to do is hit this export button. I just need to click it once. It renders and the UI changes to drag. I can just drag that now into my door. So that's really cool. It's gonna speed up your workflow. And this button is associated with the master, obviously, and it can be accessed in simple view or in advanced view. Now, there's one thing I wanna tell you about regarding this new feature. Irrespective of where you're dragging your rendered audio to, DC Snares will make a safe keep copy located in your DC Snares exported folder. Okay, the next new feature is the ability to import a user folder, which I'm sure a lot of people are gonna be very excited about. To do this, we just need to click on a slot, can be any slot, and under the existing import file option, we have import folder. If I click that, a dialog box opens, and I can choose one of my user folders. I'm just gonna choose Steve's snares, hit open, and now if I open up a slot, in the user samples section, we have Steve's snares. And I can previous and next, as you would expect. And that's very cool. And that's gonna be available through every slot. And it'll remain associated with DC snares from session to session or DAW to DAW until you remove it, which you can do if you want to. So I'll, I'll show you how to do that. We can just go user samples, remove user folder, remove Steve snares, and it's gone. Now, one thing that I absolutely love about this is that your user samples and user folders are considered in randomization. So additional to the internal samples of DC snares, your user samples are gonna be mixed up and randomized when we hit randomize. So I'll just show you that. Very, very cool, I love that. And on the topic of randomization, we can now lock slots and exclude them from being randomized. So let's say I like this, this slot here, and I wanna keep randomizing, but I wanna keep this one. All I need to do is hit the kebab menu over here and lock layer, and now that's locked and it will not be randomized. And now if we want to unlock it, we just need to click on the lock icon. And the next new feature I wanna talk about is velocity as a modulation source. To access this, we just need to toggle to advanced. And you'll see now under the envelopes, we have a velocity curve. What we can do now is we can modulate parameters with this velocity curve. So for this demonstration, I'm going to drag this onto a resonator here. And I'm gonna put it on the size and the amount. And I'll crank these up a little bit here. And I can adjust my velocity curve. So now based on the velocity in which I hit my keyboard, I'm gonna get different results or different values from these effects. Yeah, you can hear when I, when I hit it really quietly, this, it's actually not doing much. And then if I hit it quite hard, it's really extreme. So you could get really creative with this. Basically any, any parameter that is, stays highlighted when you drag a modulation source is an assignable modulation destination. Now one thing you might have noticed in the modulation matrix is that we have a fixed global velocity modulation routing for volume. The volume of each slot is being influenced by this modulation routing. Now if we want, we can take this a step further and give each sound slot its own velocity to volume modulation routing. Let me show you how to do that. If I drag the velocity curve over here onto the volume of sound slot A, 
you'll see that we've now created a velocity modulation routing for slot A, which we could change and make it different to the global velocity modulation routing. You'll also notice that slot A has dropped off this global velocity modulation routing. And that would be the same if I dragged it to slot B, C, and D. Now all four slots have their own velocity modulation routing and can have their own independent velocity response for volume, which is really interesting and it opens up a lot of sound design possibilities. The next new feature we have is tempo sync delay. Previously our delays were free time-based delays in milliseconds, but we can now sync them with the tempo of our DAW. So for this example, I'm gonna use the bus delay, turn it on here, so it's currently set to 169 milliseconds, but if I hit this little note icon here, we switch over to tempo synced. And of course we can set this to different divisions. And this works on inserts as well as the bus. Really cool. Another really cool feature that we have is that our buses are now assignable as modulation destinations. For example, I'm going to assign envelope three to the delay time. As you can see, we could modulate the high pass and low pass frequency of the reverb and all parameters of the delay here, which is excellent. We can now also control each slot's stereo width. So the default is 100%, which represents a standard stereo spread. If I take it down to zero, it's mono or if I go up to 200%, it's a very, very wide spread across the stereo field. We can also now pan our samples left and right. And each slot also now has a start delay or sample offset function. It's uh, pushed to the extreme with this new preset called the Great Offset. Now I've alluded to the fact that we have new presets in this 1.2 update. We have some really cool new presets across all the different categories we have in DC snares. We've also added two new sample categories here. So we have modern kicks. And we also have drum machine kicks. We also added some new clap sounds as well. As you can see, we've added a lot of new features to DC Snares. We think they're really useful and interesting, and we hope you do too. Thanks for watching.